on the left, together with the traditional membrane drum, on the right. The music of the Yoruba people is perhaps best known for an extremely advanced drumming tradition, especially using the dun-dun hourglass tension drums. The representation of musical instruments on sculptural works from Alifa, indicates, in general terms a substantial accord with oral traditions. A lot of these musical instruments date back to the classical period of Alifa, which began at around the 10th century AD. Some were already present prior to this period, while others were created later. The hourglass tension drum, Dun Dun, for example, may have been introduced around the 15th century, 1400s, the Benin bronze plagues of the middle period depicts them. Others like the double and single iron clapper les bells are examples of instruments that preceded classical Ife. Yoruba folk music became perhaps the most prominent kind of West African music in Afro-Latin and Caribbean musical styles. Yoruba music left an especially important influence on the music of Trinidad, the Lukumai religious traditions, capoeira practice in Brazil and the music of Cuba. Yoruba drums typically belong to four major families, which are used depending on the context or genre where they are played. The Dun Dun slash Gongan family, is the class of hourglass shaped talking drums, which imitate the sound of Yoruba speech. This is possible because the Yoruba language is tonal in nature. It is the most common and is present in many Yoruba traditions, such as Apala, Juju, Sekara, and Afrobeat. The second is the Sakura family. Typically, they played a ceremonial role in royal settings, weddings, and oraki recitation. It is predominantly found in traditions such as Sakura music, were and Fuji music. The Gbita family, literally, large drum, is used by secret fraternities such as the Ogboni and royal courts. Historically, only the Oba might dance to the music of the drum. If anyone else used the drum they were arrested for sedition of royal authority. The Gbitu are conga-shaped drums played while they sit on the ground. Akuba drums, a trio of smaller conga-like drums related to the Gbitu, are typically used in Afrobeat. The Ajido is a cousin of the Gbitu. It is also shaped like a conga but with a wider array of sounds and a bigger body. It also has a much deeper sound than the conga. It is sometimes referred to as the bass drum. Both hands play directly on the Ajido drum. Traditional Agago Metal Gongs Today, the word Bidu has also come to be used to describe forms of Nigerian Afrobeat and hip-hop music. The fourth major family of Yoruba drums is the Bata family, which are well-decorated double-faced drums, with various tones. They were historically played in sacred rituals. They are believed to have been introduced by Shango, an Orisha, during his earthly incarnation as a warrior king. Traditional Yoruba drummers are known as Ayan. The Yoruba believe that Ayangalu was the first drummer, one who became the patron Orisha of drumming following his demise. As a result, he is believed to be the spirit or muse that inspires contemporary drummers during renditions. This is why some Yoruba family names contain the prefix Ayan such as Ayangbad, Ayan Tund, Ayan Wande. Ensembles using the Dun Dun play a type of music that is also called Dun Dun. The Ashiko, cone-shaped drums, Igbin, Gudugudu, kettle drums in the Dun Dun family, Ajidigbo, and Bimbe are other drums of importance. The leader of a Dun Dun ensemble is the Uniyelu meaning, owner of the mother drum, who uses the drum to talk by imitating the tonality of Yoruba. Much of this music is spiritual in nature, and is often devoted to the Orisas. Within each drum family there are different sizes and roles, the lead drum in each family is called Aya or Aya Ilu, which means mother drum, while the supporting drums are termed Aml. Yoruba drumming exemplifies West African cross rhythms and is considered to be one of the most advanced drumming traditions in the world. Generally, improvisation is restricted to master drummers. Some other instruments found in Yoruba music include, but are not limited to, the goji, violin, shekara, gourd rattle, Ajidigbo, thumb piano that takes the shape of a plucked lamellophone, saguaro, metal rattles for the arm and ankles, also used on the rim of the bata drum, fear, whistles, arrow. Symbol, S, agago, bell, 
Different types of flutes include the akutu, okankin, and igba. Oraki, or praise singing, a genre of sung poetry that contains a series of proverbial phrases, praising or characterizing the respective person and which is of Igba and Akiti origin, is often considered the oldest Yoruba musical tradition. Yoruba music is typically polyrhythmic, which can be described as interlocking sets of rhythms that fit together somewhat like the pieces in a jigsaw puzzle. There is a basic timeline and each instrument plays a pattern in relation to that timeline. The resulting ensemble provides the typical sound of West African Yoruba drumming. Yoruba music is a component of the modern Nigerian popular music scene. Although traditional Yoruba music was not influenced by foreign music, the same cannot be said of modern-day Yoruba music, which has evolved and adapted itself through contact with foreign instruments, talent, and creativity. Twins in Yoruba Society Main article, Ibji Wooden air Ibji figures representing twins. Yorubas have the highest twinning rate in the world. The Yoruba present the highest dizygotic twinning rate in the world, 4.4% of all maternities. They manifest at 45 to 50 twin sets, or 90 to 100 twins, per 1,000 live births, possibly because of high consumption of a specific type of yam containing a natural phytoestrogen that may stimulate the ovaries to release an egg from each side. Twins are very important for the Yoruba and they usually tend to give special names to each twin. The first of the twins to be born is traditionally named Teiwo or Teiwo, which means the first to taste the world, or the slave to the second twin, this is often shortened to Taiwo, Tei or Te. Kehinda is the name of the last born twin. Kehinda is sometimes also referred to as Kehindig Begban, which is short for Omo Kehinda Gba Egban and means, the child that came behind gets the rights of the elder. Twins are perceived as having spiritual advantages or as possessing magical powers. This is different from some other cultures, which interpret twins as dangerous or unwanted. Calendar Main article, Yoruba calendar. Time is measured in Agan or Juaya, seconds, Ju, minutes, Wakati, hours, Oho, days, Ose, weeks, months, and Odun, years. There are 60, Agata, Ju in 1, Oken, Wakati, 24, Marin Leogun, Wakati in 1, Oken, Oho, 7, Mage, Oho in 1, Oken, Ose, 4, Marin, Ose in 1, Oken, O and 52, Mijaleladata, Ose in 1, Oken, Odun. There are 12, Medjula, O in 1 O done. More information months in, months in Gregorian calendar. Approximate relation between Yoruba months and Gregorian months. Months in Yoruba calendar. Months in Gregorian calendar. R. January. Errol. February. Arana. March. Igbi. April. Ebabai. May. Okidu. June. Ajimo. July. Ogun. August. Owera, Oyu. September. Owera, Owawa. October. Balu. November. OP. December. Close. The Yoruba week consists of four days. Traditionally, the Yoruba count their week starting from the Oho Ogun, this day is dedicated to Ogun. The second day is Oho Jakuta, the day is dedicated to Sango. The third day is known as the Oho Os, this day is dedicated to Orisha Enla, Obatela, while the fourth day is the Oho Owo, in honor of Arun Mila. More information days. Yoruba calendar traditional days. Days. Oho Ogun, Ogun. Oho Jakuta, Shango. Oho Os, Orisha Enla slash Obatela. Oho Awo, Arun Mila slash IFA. Close. The Yoruba calendar, Kojo Da, year starts from 3 to June 2nd of the following year. According to this calendar, the Gregorian year 2021 is the 10,063 th year of Yoruba culture, which starts with the creation of Ifa in AD 42 BC. To reconcile with the Gregorian calendar, 
Yoruba people also often measure time in seven days a week and four weeks a month. More information modified days in Yoruba calendar, days in Gregorian calendar. Modified days in Yoruba calendar. Days in Gregorian calendar. Ohoiku. Sunday. Ohoij. Monday. Ohogun. Tuesday. Oho are you? Wednesday. Ohobo. Thursday. Oho eti. Friday. Oho abamta. Saturday. Close. Cuisine. Main article, Yoruba cuisine. Solid food, mostly cooked, pounded or prepared with hot water, are basic staple foods of the Yoruba. These foods are all byproducts of crops like cassava, yams, cocoa yam, and forms a huge chunk of it all. Others like plantain, corn, beans, meat, and fish are also chief choices. Some common Yoruba foods are iyan, pounded yam, umla, eba, semo, fufu, generally called okil, moin moin, bean cake, and akara. Soups include igasi, awadu, efo, okra, vegetables are also very common as part of the Yoruba diet. Items like rice and beans, locally called eba, are also featured. Some dishes are prepared for festivities and ceremonies, such as jollof rice and fried rice. Other popular dishes are ikuru, stews, corn, cassava and flowers, e.g. maize, yam, plantain, and beans, eggs, chicken, beef and assorted forms of meat, ponmo is made from cow skin. Some less well-known meals and many miscellaneous staples are arrowroot gruel, sweet meats, fritters and coconut concoctions, and some breads, yeast bread, rock buns, and palm wine bread to name a few. Yoruba Cultural Dishes Umla is a Yoruba food. Akara is a Yoruba bean fritter. Ofe the rice is a Yoruba dish. Ofe the rice is traditionally in a leaf. Moin Moin is a Yoruba steamed bean pudding. A collection of foods eaten by Yorubas in general. Dress Further information, Yoruba women's clothing. Some common Yoruba cultural wear. Simple Iro and Buba with Geli. Agbada ati phila. Iro and Buba with Geli and Ibil. Blouse, wrapper, and headgear. Buba ati kembe. Agbada top with short baggy pants. Iro and Buba with Geli and Ibil made from a fi. Kaya and kembe, a toga like style. Kaya is thrown over the body as pakaja. Iro and Buba with Geli. The Yoruba take immense pride in their attire, for which they are well known. Citation needed clothing materials traditionally come from processed cotton by traditional weavers. They also believe that the type of clothes worn by a man depicts his personality and social status, and that different occasions require different clothing outfits. An older traditional Igbata clothing historically worn by Yoruba men. This exhibit was obtained in the town of Okiku. An akit, outdoor cap that tapers off at angles. Typically, the Yoruba have a very wide range of materials used to make clothing, the most basic being the AO oak, which is a hand loomed cloth of different patterns and colors sewn into various styles. This comes in very many different colors and patterns. Aso oak comes in three major styles based on pattern and coloration. Ala Arai, a rich red A oak. Sanyan, a brown and usual light brown A oak, and A2, a dark blue A oak. Yoruba metal bracelets and jewelry of old. Collection of the Afro-Brazilian Museum of Salvador, Bahia. Other clothing materials include but are not limited to a fi, pure white yarned cloths, used as cover cloth, it can be sewn and worn. Aran, a velvet clothing material of silky texture sewn into Danaki and Kembe, worn by the rich. Attire, cloth with various patterns and designs, dye in indigo ink, elu or arrow. Clothing in Yoruba culture is gender sensitive, despite a tradition of non-gender conforming families. For menswear, they have buba, izaki and sapara, which are regarded as iowodal or underwear, while they also have dandogo, egbata, bariyi, sulia and oyala, which are also known as iowawalak slash awosok or overwear. 
Some fashionable men may add an accessory to the Igbata outfit in the form of a wraparound, Ibora. They also have various types of Sokoto or native trousers that are sewn alongside the above-mentioned dresses. Some of these are Kembe, three-quarter baggy pants, Banu, Saro, long slim-slash-streamlined pants, Kamu, and Sokoto Elamu. A man's dressing is considered incomplete without a cap, Phila. Some of these caps include, but are not limited to, Gobe, cylindrical, which when worn may be compressed and shaped forward, sideways, or backward, Tinko, Abadiaya, crest-like shape that derives its name from its hanging flaps that resembles a dog's hanging ears. The flaps can be lowered to cover the ears in cold weather, otherwise, they are upwardly turned in normal weather, Aligba, Orabi, Bentaigu, Anid, and Lavankata, a bigger version of the Abadiaya, and is worn in such a way as to reveal the contrasting color of the cloth used as underlay for the flaps. Yoruba drummers, wearing very basic traditional clothing. Women also have different types of dresses. The most commonly worn are Iro, wrapper, and Buba, blouse-like loose top. Women also have matching Geli, headgear, that must be put on whenever the Iro and Buba is on. Just as the cap, Phila, is important to men, Women's dressing is considered incomplete without geli. It may be of plain cloth or costly as the women can afford. Apart from this, they also have ibarun, shawl, and ipil, which are long pieces of fabric that usually hang on the left shoulder and stretch from the hind of the body to the fore. At times, it is tied round their waists over the original one-piece wrapper. Unlike men, women have two types of underwear, eowodal, called Toby and Sinmai. Toby is like the modern day apron with strings and spaces in which women can keep their valuables. They tie the Toby around the waists before putting on the Iro, wrapper. Sinmai is like a sleeveless t shirt that is worn under before wearing any other dress on the upper body. Finished at Iro clothing material. There are many types of beads, ilk, hand laces, necklaces, egba run, anklets, egba essay and bangles, Egba Owo, that are used in Yoruba land. These are used by both males and females, and are put on for bodily adornment. Chiefs, priests, kings, or people of royal descent, especially use some of these beads as a signifier of rank. Some of these beads include Iun, Lajid Igba, Akin etc. An accessory especially popular among royalty and titled Babalawo slash Babalorishes is the Iricara, which is an artistically processed animal tail, a type of fly whisk. The horse tail whiskers are symbols of authority and stateliness. It can be used in a shrine for decoration but most often is used by chief priests and priestesses as a symbol of their authority or ash. As most men go about with their hair lowly cut or neatly shaven, the reverse is the case for women. Hair is considered the glory of the woman. They usually take care of their hair in two major ways, they plait and they weave. There are many types of plating styles, and women readily pick any type they want. Some of these include coals, ipecoilid, suku, kojosuko, alagago, concoso, etc. Traditionally, the Yoruba consider tribal marks ways of adding beauty to the face of individuals. This is apart from the fact that they show clearly from which part of Yoruba land an individual comes from, since different areas are associated with different marks. Different types of tribal marks are made with local blades or knives on the cheeks. These are usually done at infancy, when children are not pain conscious. Some of these tribal marks include Pele, Abeja Egba, Abeja Oa, Abeja Marin, Kik, Gombo, Tur, Pele Ife, Kik Oa, Pele Ijibu etc. Not everyone back in the past had tribal marks and sometimes it was given to firstborns of an household or for some reason or the other. So, many did not have one. This practice is near extinct today. The Yoruba believe that development of a nation is akin to the development of a man or woman. Therefore, the personality of an individual has to be developed to fulfill his or her responsibilities. Clothing among the Yoruba people is a crucial factor upon which the personality of an individual is anchored. This belief is anchored in Yoruba proverbs. 
Different occasions also require different outfits among the Yoruba. Demographics Benin Estimates of the Yoruba in Benin vary from around 1.1 to 1.5 million people. The Yoruba are the main group in the Benin Department of Aum, all sub-prefectures including Porto Novo, Ajays, Ajara. Kalines Province, all sub-prefectures including Save, Desazume, Banti, Cheti, Guka. Plateau Province, all sub-prefectures including Ketu, Sakat, Pobe, Borga Province, Cheoyura Sub-Prefecture including Cheoyura. Donga Province, Basila Sub-Prefecture. Places. The chief Yoruba cities or towns in Benin are, Porto Novo, Ajays, Aus, Wes, Ketu, Save, Chabe, Cheoyura, Shoro. Banti, Akpasi, Basila, Ajara, Ajayaura, Iawur, Sakat, Ichakat, Ifangni. Ifanyi, Pobe, Dasa, Idaka, Glazue, Bomina, Ipinal, Aldjokura, Awuro, etc. Ghana. There exists an old and thriving Yoruba community in Ghana tracing back to more than three centuries of establishment. The presence of Yoruba people in Ghana traces back to before the concept of the modern Ghanaian nation and are therefore Ghanaian citizens by law. The Yoruba communities became established through various waves and layers for centuries before the colonial era. The earliest wave were long-distance merchants, artisans, laborers, and explorers who settled in both southern and northern Ghanaian locales such as Salaga, Sikandi Takarati, Kumasi, Accra, Jamestown, Engelshi Ailida, Tudu, Yendi, Tamale, Kintampo, Nandam. In Engelshi Ailida, a corruption of English Ailida, the Fanti, and GA word for Yoruba people based on the region where the majority came from, and the area around the James Fort, the Yoruba presence dates back to 1673 when they were employed to build the fort and settled in large numbers on the eastern coastal region. It is on record that the first Ailida Akutso Mansi or Ailida Division head, a Yoruba speaker named Oho employed by the Royal African Company ascended an Accra Royal Stool becoming head of the Ailida Quarter of Jamestown in 1748. A position his descendants continue to hold to this very day. In the popular 18th century Ganja Salaga slave market, the Yoruba residents of the town would not allow their fellow countrymen captured and brought to the markets to be sold to the Ashantis who would march them to the coast. Rather, they would barter for the release of the Yoruba captives who would in turn work for their benefactors as tradesmen until they earned their release. This earliest wave was followed by an intermediate wave of slave returnees who were predominantly of Yoruba descent like the Tabam slash Agudas who settled along the Ghanaian coast. Then came the third wave who came during the Gold Coast colonial period. By this period, they had firmly entrenched themselves in the country's commerce and distribution systems and constituted a substantial percentage of merchants and traders in the country's large markets as proprietors of wholesale enterprises. They were the largest group of immigrants established in the pre-independence Gold Coast. In 1950 they constituted 15% of traders in Accra, 23% in Kumasi, and over a third in Tamale. They were usually referred to in southern Ghana as, Yoruba, Lagosian, Ailida, or Anago. It was the early stream of this wave in the 1830s that established places like Accra New Town which was previously known as Lagos Town and before then as Araromi. There is no codification for the Yoruba ethnicity in the most recent Ghanaian censuses but in previous ones, they were considered an indigenous Ghanaian group with origins outside modern Ghana. In the 1960 Ghanaian population census, there were 109,090 Yorubas. Of this figure, 100,560 were Yoruba proper while 8,530 were at Akpem, Anna. This represented 1.6% of the Ghanaian population. Nigeria the Yorubas are the main ethnic groups in the Nigerian states of Akiti, Ogun, Ondo, Asun, Kura Oyo, Lagos, and the western third of Kaji state, and can be found as a minority population to varying proportions in Delta State and Edo. Places The chief Yoruba cities or towns in Nigeria are Abiokuta, Abaji, Aduawe, Aduakiti, 
Adu Odo. Agbaja, Ago Iwayi, Ajay's IPO, Akumba Akoko, Akur, Atnata, Ea, Oyo. Ayatoro Yuwa, Ayatoro Gbid, Ayat, Badagri, Ada, Efonali, Egbi. Egbo, Emurakiti, Aran Isle, Arawa, Esa Oak, Isi. Fidity, Igbaja, Gbangan, Ibadan, Ibokan, Idenra, Idara, Edi. Irako, Edoani, Edoakiti, Ifato, Evo, Iphone, Ando, Iphone Asun. Igangan, Igana, Igbadi, Igboo, Igboora, Igbara Oak, Ijare. Ijibuigbo, Ijibuitsha, Ijibuod, Ijd, Ijiroakiti, Ayako, Akarakoko. Ikane, Ikaraakiti, Akire, Akiron, Akola Kitty, Akoradu, Isla Orangon. Ilaj, Ilaro, Ilaia Kitty, Ilifa, Iloluyi, Ilsa, Ilabunu. Ilishan, Ilabu, Ilorin, Imko, Imsi Isle, Imota, Inisa. Iparu, Ipatuitsha, Ipatumadu, Iragbaji, Iri, Isharun, Isin Lub. Isia Kitty, Isian, Intogbolu, Iwo, Iyera, Jeba, Kaba. Kishi, Lagos, Eko, Laliapon, Lanlate, Lokaha, Motakik, Mopa. Obajana, Abakan, Odiral, Odamu, or, Odogbolu, Afa. Ogbomiso, Ogurimo, Ojidiajamua, Oho, Okakoko, Okaho. Okigbo, Okmasi, Okatipipa, Okiku, Amuaran, Amuo, Ando City, Odondo. Osigbo, Osu, Otan Igbaju, Oda, Otanakiti, Owo, Oud. Oyan, Oyo, Shigamua, Shaki, Share. Appeal. USI Kitty. Togo. Estimates of the Yoruba in Togo vary from around 500,000 to 600,000 people. There are both immigrant Yoruba communities from Nigeria, and indigenous ancestral Yoruba communities living in Togo. Footballer Emmanuel Adebayer is an example of a Togo lace from an immigrant Yoruba background. Indigenous Yoruba communities in Togo, however can be found in the Togo lace departments of Plateau's region, Ani, Agu, and Estmano prefectures. Central region, Chamba prefecture. The chief Yoruba cities or towns in Togo are, Atokpame, Ani, Morita, Mortan, Ilavignon, Gaubi, Kambali, Akpir, Kamina. West Africa, other. The Yoruba in Burkina Faso are numbered around 77,000 people, and around 80,000 in Niger. In the Ivory Coast, they are concentrated in the cities of Abidjan, Triacheville, Ajame, Bwake, Korhago, Grand Bassam, and Gagnoa where they are mostly employed in retail at major markets. Otherwise known as Anago traders, they dominate certain sectors of the retail economy and number at least 135,000 people. The Yoruba Diaspora See also, Yoruba American, Nigerian American, Nigerian Diaspora, British Nigerian, Nigerians in Ireland, and Nigerian Australian. African languages spoken in American households, 2019. Yoruba people or descendants can be found all over the world especially in the United Kingdom, Canada, the United States, Brazil, Latin America, and the Caribbean, especially in Cuba. Significant Yoruba communities can be found in South America and Australia. Commemoration of Black Consciousness, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In the United States, similar to its status on the African continent, the Yoruba language is the most spoken African Niger-Congo language by native speakers. It is the most spoken African language in Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Mississippi, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas, and West Virginia. It constitutes the second largest African linguistic community in Georgia, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Mississippi, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island, and Washington, D.C. with over 207,000 speakers in 2022.
The migration of Yoruba people all over the world has led to a spread of the Yoruba culture across the globe. Yoruba people have historically been spread around the globe by the combined forces of the Atlantic slave trade and voluntary self-migration. Their exact population outside Africa is unknown. Yorubas are overrepresented in the genetic studies of African Americans and are not the largest contributors of African American DNA by any means. In their Atlantic world domains, the Yorubas were known by the designations, Nago slash Anago, Terranova, Lakumi, and Aku, or by the names of their various clans. The Yoruba left an important presence in Cuba and Brazil, particularly in Havana and Bahia. According to a 19th century report, the Yoruba are, still today, the most numerous and influential in the state of Bahia. The most numerous are those from Oyo, capital of the Yoruba kingdom. Others included Ijeksa, Itsha, Lakumi, Odie, Awaris, Kitas, Ekitas, Jebus, Ijebu, Egba, Lakumi Ekumako, Ogbomasho, and Anagos. In the documents dating from 1816 to 1850, Yorubas constituted 69.1% of all slaves whose ethnic origins were known, constituting 82.3% of all slaves from the Bight of Benin. The proportion of slaves from West Central Africa, Angola, Congo, dropped drastically to just 14.7%. Between 1831 and 1852, the African-born slave and free population of Salvador, Bahia surpassed that of free Brazil-born Creoles. Meanwhile, between 1808 and 1842 an average of 31.3% of African-born freed persons had been Nagos, Yoruba. Between 1851 and 1884, the number had risen to a dramatic 73.9%. Other areas that received a significant number of Yoruba people and are sites of Yoruba influence are, the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, St. Lucia, Granada, Santa Margarita, Trinidad and Tobago, Belize, Guiana, Haiti, Jamaica, where they settled and established such places as Avio Cuda, Nago Head in Portmore, and by their hundreds in other parishes like Hanover and Westmoreland, both in western Jamaica leaving behind practices such as Etu from Etudu, the Yoruba ceremony of atonement among other customs of people. Bearing the same name, and certain aspects of Cumina such as Sango Veneration, Barbados, Montserrat, etc. On July 31, 2020, the Yoruba World Congress joined the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization, UNPO. Genetics Genetic studies have shown the Yoruba to cluster most closely with West African peoples, followed by Central and Eastern African groups speaking Niger-Congo languages. Map showing the average distribution and concentration of the haplogroup E1B1A, EM2, the most common sub-Saharan African-associated clade. Yoruba people belong largely to the E1B101 subclade of the EM2 haplogroup along with the U, GA, and Bami Lake peoples of West Africa and Cameroon. Genetic studies have also found evidence of some archaic West Eurasian admixture in Yoruba populations at very low frequencies, with signals which speak to such estimated at about 0.18% among modern samples. The occurrence is largely assumed to be from up to 8.6% archaic ancestry among Yorubas. This admixture may have been introduced 7,500 to 10,500 years ago from North Africa during the Green Saharan period. Another full genome study on African populations found that the Yoruba, Yoruba slash Essen cluster of West Africa, received varying degrees of West Eurasian admixture, although generally at low frequency, indirectly through contact with Northern African pastoralists. Foreign representation. The Yoruba people have participated in more recent cultural exchange programs with members of the African diaspora to preserve shared cultural and identity relationships between the two parties. One of these programs is a cultural site, the Oyotunji African Village in Sheldon County, South Carolina, founded by Oba Efuntila Asijman Adelabu and established in 1970. More recent diplomatic efforts centered around Yoruba cross-cultural celebration include the Voyage of the Uni, King, of Ife to the city of Salvador in Bahia, Brazil, 
home to a large number of Yoruba descendants, to celebrate the city as the cultural capital of the Yoruba people in the Western Hemisphere. Notable People of Yoruba Origin Main Article, List of Yoruba People Yoruba Organizations Afenifera Amotkin Bajua People's Congress Issues Wiki News has related news. Yorubas in New York protest at UN headquarters. Wikimania 2012 tackles diversity issues. Along with people of other regions that are largely representative of ethnic enclaves within the country, Yorubas have faced growing concerns over increased insecurity and instability within the country. On January 9, 2020, the governors of six of the country's western states became associated with the formation of state security networks which would operate in each state. This security network is called Amotkin and is managed by the office of each state governor with full cooperation of the legal protocols of Nigeria. Prominent Chiefs See also, Royal Titles of Yoruba Monarchs Ara Bazavin Ara Onakakinfo Akani Ojua Alifin. Alek. Alekatub. Ajail. Iliko. Olubaden. Buni. See also. Itsekari people. Igala people. Nub. Ebra. Notes. Population figures not inclusive of pre-20th century diasporic communities who trace full or partial Yoruba heritage. This figure only accounts for people who indicate speaking Yoruba as the primary language of the home and not the total number of people with Yoruba ancestry. Population figures only based on those who indicate Yoruba as their primary language. It is not a figure for the entire Yoruba population in Canada.